have a check engine light in your Mercedes, I don't want you to worry. Let's see what we can do about that. So yeah, we're out cruising and uh, the light came on, but you know, I don't want people to panic. Um, you know, the top five reasons why that light would come on in your Mercedes is probably the first one is when you're out and you're fueling up your vehicle and you don't get that gas cap on tight, all right? Um, you know, that's a pressurized system in there and it will trigger a light. Um, so just get out there and make sure that your gas cap is snug and uh, eventually that light will probably go out. All right, a couple other reasons. There's four more that you can think about uh, that, uh, you know, one of the Mercedes-Benz sites is talking about. The most common uh, reasons why your light comes on is uh, oxygen sensor. Uh, could be uh, sniffing kind of weird. Maybe the mass airflow sensor's acting up, catalytic converter. And oddly enough, I saw in there where they're saying, well, we recommend you change your spark plugs every 25,000 miles. I'm like, what? Every 25,000 miles? You know, because we want to prevent misfires. Um, look, don't panic. We're going to try to find a way to pull these codes, interpret those codes, and make an informed decision before we go and spend a ton of cash at the dealership. All right, let me get this car home safe because I'm driving right now. I just got done picking up groceries from Walmart. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the candy. Nice. All right, we'll turn that down. Look, I uh, I tore my freaking garage apart. I could not find my OBD2 scanner. So, went to Harbor Freight and for $27 I picked up an OBD2 and CAN code reader. Um, should work for most vehicles. And uh, let's see on the back here it says, uh, works with cars and light trucks that are OBD2 slash EOBD compliant, including CAN, VPN, PWM, ISO, and KWP 2000 protocols, etc. 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 So let's get to the house. Let's plug this dude in. I'll show you where it gets plugged in at and uh, see what kind of codes we pull out of this car. All right, take it easy, my friends. Let's go for a little drive. Well, we ain't going anywhere until this truck behind me gets the hell out of my way. All right, keep moving. Oh, wait a minute, it's a Silverado. That's okay, because I own a Silverado. <laughs> All righty then. No, don't you go anywhere, dude. All right, folks, we'll see you when we get home. So we're back at the house with the, uh, the code reader. I'm going to read something to you, okay? The OBD2 Onboard Diagnostic System. Uh, it's required by the EPA that all 1996 and newer vehicles sold in the United States be equipped with an OBD2 computer system. I didn't know that. OBD2, which is your onboard diagnostics, uh, is an early warning system designed to monitor engine, transmission, and emissions control components by performing specific diagnostic tests. When a fault condition is detected, the system captures important data and activates the check engine light. So and that's one of the reasons why I told you, don't freak out if that check engine light comes on and it's solid, okay? Now, if that light comes on and it's flashing, uh, you got some serious issues and need to pull over. Uh, but let me just continue reading. Uh, if the light comes on, the vehicle might have a condition that wastes fuel, shortens engine life, or causes excessive air pollution. Um, if the problem that caused the light to come on is addressed, for instance, a loose gas cap is tightened, the light will go out. Uh, if the light comes on and stays on, a minor engine fault condition is occurring and should be addressed as soon as possible. If the light is blinking, a severe engine fault condition is occurring and should be addressed immediately. Okay? Uh, so the code reader that we have here connects to the port that's that's located underneath the dash and we're going to use it to help identify uh, What we have going on here, so 
Now, I'm just gonna pan the camera down underneath the uh, dash so you can see where the OBD port is located. I don't know how well you can see that. Bring it down. This is it right here, okay? Right next to your hood release. So we're gonna plug the tool into this location. Okay, so we've got our tool. You notice that the, uh, the unit's being powered up uh, by the OBD2 uh, unit, okay? So let's, uh, let's do a scan. I don't know if I have to have power on. Key in the on position, let's try it. So here I got a link error. Okay. All right, it did detect something. You notice here that I have a red light. So there is a stored code. And let me just scroll down to see if it tells me what it is. Enter. Read DTC. Interesting. No codes. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to go ahead and erase. Erase DTC. That's diagnostic codes that may be stored in the system. The erase is finished. Okay, I'm going to exit, I'm going to unplug, and let's get up here and start this thing and see what we got. All right, check engine light is out. So the best I can figure is when the service... Um, when I got my service notification for the B service, that's when the light came on. And uh, I just checked the system for codes. There were no stored codes in the vehicle, so I went ahead and cleared it. Now, obviously, I'll keep my eye on this, and uh, uh, you know, if it pops back on, then we'll reconnect the uh, reader and check it again. But right now, I'm not too concerned. Yeah, the, the, the tool works pretty good. Um, you just gotta make sure that the plug is seated in good and uh, let the system turn itself on and get calibrated and give it an opportunity to recognize the vehicle. Um, you can get these things anywhere, right? All the different auto parts stores sell them. But it's, all it does is allows you to read the codes and allows you to reset the system to turn the light off. And uh, that's pretty much it. So. What was interesting, though, is that I did get a red light on there, which indicates a, tr a code. But then when I went to go check the code, there weren't any. So we did a reset, and, uh, and we're good. Now, there was nothing going on with this vehicle that indicated any problems. Um, when the light came on, the engine was running fine. We didn't lose any power. There was no hesitation, no coughing, none of that kind of stuff. And uh, the one thing I did do was I went out and... Uh, loosened the gas cap. I've checked the seal on it, and then I reinstalled the gas cap. Um, and maybe that had an had an effect. Who knows? So, look. The whole point is, folks, don't be nervous when that light comes on. Okay, this is stuff you can do at home. Get you the book. Get you the tool. Read the manual. The manual comes with a list of codes in there. Uh, if yours isn't there, you simply jot down what the code is as you scroll through. Get on the computer, Google it for the, in this case, this would have been a 2016 Mercedes GLC 300 diagnostic code. And then you can typically find a list of codes that are out there, match up the code you got to whatever it's listed, and that'll help you identify what your problem is, okay? So this vehicle only has 40,516 miles on it, and um, it's been very well taken care of so far. So I. This must have just been a fluke, and uh, I'm sorry I didn't have anything exciting going on, but it is what it is. 
All right, here's what the face of the tool looks like. It was like 27 bucks, it was very cheap. Okay, and here's what the end of the OBD2 looks like. Okay, and I showed you where it was under the dash. Simple, thanks for watching, and good luck out there, okay?